official pada video sebelumnya kita semua sudah menyaksikan kesaksian seorang mu'alaf yang semasa dia masih Kristen atau masih kafir dia justru tiga kali hatam Al-Quran dan mempelajari Al-Quran hanya untuk mencari kesalahan dan kelemahannya akan tetapi Allah berkehendak lain justru dia mendapatkan hidayah dan menjadi seorang mu'alaf setelah membuktikan mukjizat-mukjizat Al-Quran nah Tentunya kita semua bertanya-tanya bagaimana sih cara orang-orang kafir itu mempelajari Al-Quran Mungkin video berikut ini bisa menjadi contoh bagaimana cara seorang Kristen atau kafir mempelajari Al-Quran Jangan lupa simak videonya sampai habis dan jangan lupa share ya tetap sosial media kalian Over a billion people follow this religion and how many people in this religion or outside of the religion have even read the book What the heck, so today we're starting and I'm not gonna move Sahabat official, apa kabarnya? Semoga selalu sehat. Jumpa kembali dengan kami, Rosalba Official, khusus untuk reaction video-video dari umat sebelah yang kita reaksi dan kita sekaligus menjawab hal-hal yang mereka pertanyakan. Sahabat official, video ini merupakan video yang menjadi viral di benua Eropa sana. Nah, seorang Kristen mempelajari Al-Quran selama 18 jam. Luar biasa ya, bahkan kita saja nggak seperti itu ya, sahabat official. Bule ini mempelajari Al-Quran selama 18 jam dan dia membaca hingga hatam atau tamat. Let's begin. The cow. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Aleph, this book is not to be doubted. It is a guide for the righteous, who believe in the unseen and are steadfast in prayer, who give from what we gave them, who believe in what has been revealed to you and what has revealed before you, and have absolute faith in the life to come. These are rightly guided by their Lord. These shall surely succeed. As for the unbelievers, it is the same whether or not you forewarn them. They will not have faith. God has set a seal upon their hearts and ears. Their sight is dimmed and grievous punishment awaits them. In some there are who declare, we believe in God and the last day, yet they are no true believers. They seek to deceive God and those who believe in him, but they deceive none, save themselves, though they may not perceive it. There is a sickness in their hearts which God has aggravated. Grievous punishments awaits them for their lies they ever told. If they are told, you shall not do evil in the land, they reply, surely we are doing what, what is good, but it is they who are the evildoers, though they may not perceive it. And if they are told, believe as the people believe, they reply, are we to believe as fools believe? It is they who are the fools, if they but knew it. Ooh, this is good. <laughs> and then when they, kind of sounds like the Bible. And when they meet the faithful, they declare, we too are believers. But when alone with their demons, they say to them, we follow none but you, we are only mocking. God will mock them and keep them long in sin, ever straying from the right path. Such are those that barter guidance for error. They profit nothing, nor are they on the right path. They are like one who kindled a fire, but as soon as it lit up all around him, God put it and left him in darkness. Okay, page one. Nah, sahabat official, kami tidak tahu uh, apakah dia menandai tubuhnya di setiap bacaan yang dia temui. Apakah nama Tuhan atau bagaimana? Kami sudah mempelajarinya, tetapi hasilnya tidak tahu. Mungkin sahabat official bisa membantu kira-kira tanda bacaan apa yang dia coret pada tubuhnya sendiri. And left him in darkness, they did not see. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will never return to the right path. Or like those who beneath a dark storm cloud charged with thunder lighting, thrust their fingers into the ears at the sound of every thunderclap for fear of death. God thus encompasses the unbelievers. The lightning almost snatches away their sight. Whenever it flashes upon them, they walk on, but as soon as it darkens, they stand still. Indeed, if God pleased, he could take away their hearing and their sight. God has power over all things. You people, worship your Lord who has created you and those who have gone before you, so that you may guard yourselves against evil, who has made the earth a bed for you and the sky a dome, and has sent down water from the sky to bring forth fruits for your sustenance. Do not knowingly set up other deities besides God. 
And if you doubt what we have revealed to our servant, produce one surah comparable to it. Call upon your idols to assist you, if what you say be true. But if you fail, as you are sure to fail, then guard yourselves against the fire whose fuel is humans and stones prepared for the unbelievers. And proclaim joyful tidings to those that believe and do good works. They shall dwell in gardens watered by running brooks. Whenever they are given fruit to eat, they will say, This is what we used to eat before, for they shall be given the like. Wedded to chaste spouses, they shall abide therein forever. Surely God does not disdain to make comparison with a gnat or a larger creature. The faithful know that it is the truth from their Lord, but the unbelievers ask, What could God mean by this comparison? By such comparison, God confounds many and enlightens many, but he confounds none except the ungodly, who break God's covenant after accepting it, and put it asunder what God has bidden to be united, and perpetuate corruption in the land. It is those who will surely be the last ones. How can you deny God? Did he not give you life when you were dead, and will he not cause you to die and then restore you to life? Will you not return to him at last? He created you for all that the earth constrains. Then, ascending to the sky, he fashioned it into seven heavens, and he has knowledge of all things. And when your Lord said to the angels, I am placing on earth one that shall rule as my deputy, they replied, Will you put there one that will do evil and shed blood when we have for so long sung your praises and sanctified your name? He said, I know what you know not. He taught Adam the names of all things and then set them before the angels, saying, Tell me the names of these, if what you say be true. Glory be to you, they replied. We have no knowledge except that which you have given us. You alone are all-knowing and wise. Then he said, He, Adam, tell them their names. And when Adam had named them, he said, Did I not tell you that what the Did I not tell you that I know the secrets of the heavens and the earth and all and all that I will reveal and all you conceal? And when we said to the angels, Prostrate themselves before Adam, they all prostrated themselves except Satan, who in his pride refused and became an unbeliever. We said, Adam, dwell with your spouse in paradise, and both of you eat its fruits to your hearts. Content wherever you will be, but never approach this tree, or you shall both become transgressors. Oh, this is like Genesis. That sounds it is, yeah. Huh. Nah, sahabat official, ternyata hal itu terjadi lagi dan sudah dua kali dia menandai tubuhnya dengan coretan yang tidak kami mengerti. Namun, jika dilihat dari wajahnya, mulai dari pembacaan surah Al-Baqarah, dirinya terlihat kagum dengan kata-kata yang tercantum di dalam Al-Quran. Nah, mari kita menuju ke lima jam berikutnya. That's so true. Potty break. <laughs> Potty break. Good. Okay. God loves the righteous. Don't be friends with unbelievers. Some among them say, Give us leave to stay behind and do not expose us to temptation. Surely they have already succumbed to temptation. Hell shall engulf the unbelievers. If you meet with success, it grieves them. And if a disaster befalls you, they say, We have already taken our precautions. And they turn away, rejoicing. Say, Nothing will befall us except what God has ordained for us. He is our guardian, and God let the faithful put their trust. Say, are you waiting for anything to befall us except victory or martyrdom? We are waiting for God's courage to smite you. Direct from him are the hands. Wait if you will, we will wait with you. Say, whether you give willingly or with reluctance, your offerings shall not be accepted from you, for you are ungodly people. These offerings shall not be accepted from them only because they have denied God and his apostles. They pray but half-heartedly and give only with reluctance. So let neither their riches nor their children make you wonder. Through these, God seeks to punish them in the life of this world, so that their souls shall perish while they are still in unbelief. They swear by God that they are unbelievers with you, and they are not with you. But they are afraid. If they could find a shelter or some caves or any hiding place, they would run in frantic haste to seek refuge in it. 
and there are some among them who speak ill of you concerning the distribution of alms. If a share is given them, they are content. But if they are not given a share, they grow resentful. Would that they were satisfied with what God and his apostle would have given them and said, All sufficient is God for us. God will provide for us from whom is bounty, and so will his apostle. To God we will humbly submit. Alms shall be only for the poor and the destitute, for those that are engaged in the management of alms, and those whose hearts are submitted to the faith for the freeing of slaves and debtors, for the advancement of God's cause and for the travel of need. That is duty enjoined by God. God is all-knowing and wise. Masya Allah. Dalam video ini sudah berlangsung lima jam. Sudah begitu banyak coretan di tubuhnya. Semoga saja orang ini mendapat hidayah ya, sahabat official. Kita doakan saja. Sebab Allah tidak akan menyanyiakan waktu dari orang-orang yang membaca Al-Quran. Apalagi dengan maksud mempelajarinya. Orang yang berhati jahat saja mendapat hidayah. Apalagi... Manusia yang berhati baik ketika mempelajari dan mentadaburi Al-Quran Begitu kan sahabat official? Nah inilah yang terjadi pada 18 jam berikutnya Yuk kita simak Hey Kurt Hey Kurt Hai Have you considered him that denies the last judgment? It is he who turns away the orphan and does not urge the feeding of the destitute. Woe well betude those who pray but are heedless to their prayer, who make show of piety and forbid almsgiving. Abundance. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. We have given you abundance, so pray to your Lord and sacrifice to him. He that hates you shall remain childless. Muhammad's own clan. Some commenters connect the surah with the preceding one. Oh wait, I missed two pages. Hey, Kurt! Hey, my boy! Hey! Kurt! Alms, the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Have you considered him that denies the last judgment? It is he who turns away the orphan and does not urge the feeding of the destitute. Woe well betide those who pray but are heedless of the prayer, who make a show of piety and forbid almsgiving. Abundance, in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. We have given you abundance, so pray to your Lord and sacrifice to him. He that hates you shall remain childless. <sighs> the last page. The unbelievers. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, say, You blasphemers, I do not worship what you worship, nor do you worship what I worship. I shall never worship what you worship, nor will you ever worship what I worship. You have your religion, and I have my religion. Help. Surah, help. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. When God's help and victory came, and you see people embrace God's religion in multitudes, give praise and glory to your Lord and seek his forgiveness. He is ever disposed to forgive. Next surah, Al-Lahab. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, may the hands of Abu Lahab perish, and may he himself perish. Nothing shall his wealth be in against to avail him. You shall be burnt in flaming fire, and his wife laden with firewood shall have a rope of fire around her neck. Last page. Oh wait, I missed one too. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Say, God is one, the eternal God. He begot none, nor was he begotten, and none is equal to him. Daybreak. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Okay, daybreak. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Last page. Say, I seek refuge to the Lord of daybreak from the mischief of his creation and from the mischief of the night when he, she spreads her darkness, from the mischief of conjuring witches, from the mischief of the envier when he arrives, when he envies. Last 
surah. I have officially finished the Quran in one day. Mankind, in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind, the King of mankind, the God of mankind, from the mischief of the slinking prompter who whispers in the hearts of mankind, from jinn and mankind. <laughs> My friends are sleeping. I finished. Okay, let's summarize the whole book in one sentence. I just spent 18 hours, sorry, 19 hours almost, reading the Quran. Now, let me summarize the book in one sentence. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I wrote these like 15 minutes ago because I got the themes of the book. The first one being to fear God. That is the first theme of this book. It is essentially having a deep respect for God. <clears throat> Number two, don't follow your desires. Uh, this is a verse from the Quran. Happy shall be he that keeps himself pure. So don't just follow your desires because following your desires might lead you to sin. And sinning is when you go against yourself. That's what sinning is. That's what the Quran says sinning is. And lastly, this is from the Quran. Be kind to your parents. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Run it! Sahabat official, luar biasa sekali ya, orang ini mempelajari Al-Quran selama hampir 19 jam. Walaupun banyak coretan di dalam tubuhnya, tapi dia terlihat happy-happy saja. Seperti ada kepuasan yang dia dapat. Nah, bermacam-macam ilmu yang dia serap, dan tentunya dengan pengetahuan itu akan menentunya kepada hidayah. Semoga seperti itu ya, sahabat official. Karena manusia itu membutuhkan Al-Quran. Tanpa Al-Quran, manusia akan memakan bumi beserta isinya karena sifat tamaknya atau sifat rakusnya. Nah, sahabat official, jadi itulah kesimpulan kecil yang dia berikan untuk kita semua dan tentunya pastinya berharga ya. Meskipun sebenarnya masih banyak jutaan kesimpulan-kesimpulan jika kita mempelajari Al-Quran, apabila kita mau mentadaburinya, kita mau mempelajarinya, dan kita mau memikirkannya karena Al-Quran memang hanya untuk orang-orang yang berpikir. Nah, sahabat official, komentar kami, semoga... Orang kafir ini segera mendapatkan hidayah dari Allah dan semakin maju menjadi muslim dan comfort to Islam secara kafah. Demikian ya sahabat official semoga bisa bermanfaat ya untuk kita semua. Allahumma inni as'aluka bi anni ashhadu annaka anta Allah la ilaha illa anta anta al-ahadu samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad